everyone, and welcome back to part 23 of Let's Clone a Pokemon game. In this one, we're actually going to be entering into combat and being able to exit combat while dealing damage to the enemy monster. Now, we're not going to be programming in right now our AI attacking the player. Um, there's still a couple things to figure out with that. But for now, we're just going to do a basic attack at the enemy, and if its HP is less than or equal to zero, we are going to exit combat. Now there's still a lot more things to add to the combat system that we're missing, but for now it's it's uh, just a basic setup for getting in and out of combat. And then you can actually go back into combat and fight a new monster, do whatever. So, we're just going to get started here. I guess first I should say that you need to go into your monster class and add a max HP. I shouldn't even have base HP in here. We don't really need it. Um, base HP would just be zero. So we'll probably change that up in, in the future, um, unless I totally forgot that it has something to do with something else. But for now, we just need a new stat called max HP in our monster class. And then what you want to do is actually go to where all your monsters are and equal these three to the same number. That way, when we're calculating or we're going into combat, it's always defaulted to that. Next, what we want to do is actually go into our player stats script. And this is where our enter combat phase is. And we want to add a new function called exit combat. And this is going to be used, we're going to call this when we're done with combat, if uh, either of the monster's HP is, like I said, less or equal to zero. And pretty much, we're just going to be copying these three lines of code into here. And we're going to be ch changing or swip swapping the, uh, the booleans. So if it was false, true, false, false. And that's all we need for that. And then in our actual monster attack script, um, we're just going to be adding in a reference to our enemy monster so that we can actually access its current HP and minus it. So you want to do one of these again to uh, access your script. If you named it main like I did, you're going to want to change the script name to something else. Uh, Unity doesn't like using main uh, since it's a built-in function, so it get, throws you an error. So if you have it set for that, just name it like main1. Make sure you're not in the script when you do that. But yeah, that's pretty much all we set up. So pretty much it's going to be accessing our main script, enemy monster, current HP. So just the amount of uh, current HP that that monster currently has. And then we'll go into our main script. And now in here we're going to be setting up something for is in combat. So we're going to be accessing our other script, which is our player stats, and checking for the variable is in combat. Now we call this when we actually go into combat, and that switches the camera and activates a bunch of functions and disables the movement and everything. So what we want to do is just call this code while we are in combat. It's just a little bit of optimization, so we're not calling these pieces of code all the time. We're just calling or checking that one. So, while we're in combat, we want to actually check if our monster equipped is less than or equal to zero. So this is pretty much saying if it, if it hit zero or if it went less than zero, we're going to say that our monster died. And we're going to be calling exit combat. So other, other is referencing to our player stat script set up here. And uh, pretty much what we're going to be doing is just calling the exit combat from there. So if either one of those dies, we're just going to be calling that. And I believe that's everything that we need to get that set up. So we'll just jump into game real quick, and I'll show you guys exactly what this does. I guess we don't even need the console right now. So we'll just run around. and we go into battle. Okay, so for our different attacks we actually set up different values. So if we go back in here to our monster attacks, we did this minus equals 5 and this one is minus, minus equals 2. So if we use our vine attack you can see that the monster it took away 5 HP. But if we go and use our smash attack it deals only 2 HP. Our minus is minus equals 2 HP. And then if we do vine again 
monster died, and we're out of combat. And now we can go run around again. We can go walk through some new grass. And we have a brand new monster here with 15. So if we just spam here real quick. You can see that the monster dies and you exit back into combat and you can run around again. While you're in combat, your keys are disabled so you can't move around or anything like that. So that is the basic combat system. Hopefully we can get some uh, variables set up in a way so that our enemy monster can attack. I'm still trying to figure that out a little bit. Um, I was going to use a 0 and 1 for the turn and transfer that variable into the actual calculating of the attack, but I still have to figure out a way to calculate each of the stats accordingly. So if an enemy monster used a vine attack, it would apply the damage, to, or it would calculate all the attack, defense, um, what their uh, resistances are and stuff. So hopefully we can get that figured out in the future. We're still just blocking out most of the code and we'll get a little more advanced when more of the mechanics are set up. But yeah, stay tuned guys for the next episode.